tripod set up today because we're going to do a dual cooking method. We've got some good duck cassoulet already grilling and to keep the pan of water on a rolling boil. We've already increased the heater so it's boiled and safe to drink. We just need it topped up for cups of teas today. What we've got is basically three poles of hazel. We use hazel because it's a quick growing tree so we're not making an impact on the environment. I fastened this today with some copper wire found in the survival tin, coming off to a hook stick. While trimming one of the branches, I've also inquired another hook for lifting the hot pan off. And that stays up there so you don't lose it. And the procedure of this is basically finding the center of gravity of the pan you're using and laying it over the fire. So, we've got a long fork stick with a notch and we've embedded the wire into the notch so it doesn't pull through. Coming up, we've attached it to the thickest stick and then we've just bound these together with the lowest point using the V for strength. And of course once it's hot you don't want to be touching the metal. So you hold the stick and bring off with another pan. We could use natural cordage for this because of the size of the pan base, there's no actual heat on the stick. It's all hitting the bottom of the pan. But just for, you're not making string every day, that's why we use copper and it's longevity. When not in use, so the stick doesn't burn away and perish, we leave it hanging up. We've left these purposely long. You could have got wet equipment, socks, boots, we can put them on here to catch a bit of air and warp to the fire to dry it over the evening. Also, cups are a handy place to have, especially if you're making a cup of tea. There may be occasion you're short of wire. And in that case, you can adjust the height by bringing in or taking out the tripod, which effectively hires or lowers the pot. Today we've got some duck cassoulet and it's just on some slow burning ambers and it's not coming far off. We've actually dug this in a pit today. The reason for this is we want some slow cooking. It's low in oxygen and it burns fuel more effectively rather than having a roaring fire all day. It'll probably burn the food product as well. We also got another method of cooking over here. And this is what we've got set up for boiling. There's various ways we can do this, inverted with a hanger coming off, but we've done a straightforward straight stick. Inverted V, which can be taken apart very easily. And it's all gravity based. coming along and as the stick burns off at the head the end we can just get a longer stick and keep on moving along at the business end here we've got a nice clean fire area so the fire is not going to spread we could even shallow out a depression if we wanted to retain the ambers and this is designed for a quick boiling we could have more tinder and kindling now and have a brew in five minutes or so we've got big logs on there today just to retain a little bit of heat and when we need the next brew we'll just stoke it up. If you wished we could pan fry on this sort of fire by removing our sticks and our kettle we could put a frying pan on now and you could be cooking your burgers, sausages, bacon and eggs rather quickly. The benefit of this fire is quick you can get it going quick, you can have a quick cup of tea, and you can be on the move again. The downside of the fire, it retains a lot of fuel. You need a lot of fuel in backup to keep it burning all the time. This is a hangy we had last night. What we do is build a big fire. We superheat the stones and they collapse in the fire. We then put meat and vegetables on. 
the thicker the stuff you're cooking, the lower in the fire it goes, because that's where the maximum heat is. And then basically, once it's all in cooking, we put a lid over top, cover it with a bit more soil, and this acts as a giant pressure cooker now. The benefit of this fire, it leaves you time to go and do other things. A leg of lamb, let's say, or a hind of deer, things like that, will take approximately two and a half to three hours to cook on a warmish day. So that's three hours you can be collecting firewood, water, or attending to camp duties. Thank you.